everyone, today I'm going to show you how to crochet this beautiful knit stitch in Tunisian crochet in two colors. It's very, very easy. It's a one row repeat. You don't have to tie off your yarn in every row. You just keep changing them. There are no ends you have to sew in every row. So it's very, very easy. It's just one row repeat. So it's a great pattern for a beginner it's very very easy and it looks beautiful and now i will show you what we need and how to crochet this beautiful tunisian knit stitch today we will need a tunisian crochet hook i have a six millimeter crochet hook you will also need a pair of scissors a yarn needle and your selected yarn i have here the home decor yarn from burnett but of course you can use any yarn you want and now let's get started we will start with a slip knot and we will make chains i will be making 14 chains but you just make the chains as long as you need it for your project it doesn't have to be a multiple of two or anything you just keep crocheting chains until you reach your desired length for your project like i said this is a simple piece so i will be making 14 chains once you reach your desired length we can start with our first row the loop on our hook counts as our first stitch so we are going to insert our hook into the next stitch grab your yarn and pull up Go into the next stitch, grab your yarn and pull up. And you will repeat this in every stitch. Just grab your yarn, pull up and repeat this in every stitch. I started with a chain of 14 stitches. So I will have 14 loops on my hook at the end of this row. So just repeat doing this all the way along. Now we will start with the back row. You will grab your yarn and only go through the first loop. This is our border stitch and every row is the same. We only go through the first loop and now grab your yarn and go through two, go through two, and repeat this until you have one loop left on your hook. So go through two, go through two, all the way along. And I'm almost done here. So again, go through two, and here is my one loop left. And this is how our first row looks like. Now we will start with the knit stitch. The first loop over here does not count, so just ignore it. What we need is the loop over here, the second one. And when you grab this and pull it a little bit, you can see we have two strengths of yarn here. And we need to go in between those two. It's very, very easy to do. I will show you. So just grab your hook, turn your work a little bit, and now you can see we have to get in the middle here and through. So if I have my hook here, now you can see it better. I'm in between those two loops. Grab your yarn and pull up. Here's our next stitch again. And we need to go in between here. So insert your hook in between here that you come out on the back side, grab your yarn and pull up. And this is all you have to watch out for is that you always work in between those two. I will show you again. Insert your hook between those two Grab your yarn and pull up. And you will repeat this in every stitch. In between, pull up. And you will repeat this until you get 
into your last stitch. I'm now in my last stitch and what's really important not to forget our border stitch. If you turn your work around, you can see a small X and you will just insert your hook. Just make sure you always grab those two loops, that you have two loops, grab your yarn and pull up. And now I will show you how to attach our new color. Now you're just going to get your new color, put it on your hook and pull through the first loop, only through the first. And now we can repeat our back row. So this was our first loop. And now you grab the yarn and go through two. Grab your yarn, pull through two. And you will repeat this again until you have one loop left. Pull through two, pull through two, all the way along. Two left, pull through two, and this is how it looks like. Again, we need to get in between here, so just insert your hook again and pull up into the next one in between those two and pull up. And this is all it is for this stitch. It's so easy and so pretty. And I absolutely love how it comes out in two colors. So again, in between, pull up until you get to your last stitch. I'm here in my last stitch and now again I will do my border stitch, go through the two and pull up. And now I will change back to pink. So I just grab the yarn from behind, let those two lay here, grab my pink color and go through the first loop. Now you can pull this tight here and now we will repeat going through two all the way along until we have one loop left on our hook. So through two, pull through two, until you have one loop left. And now you can already see this beautiful stitch. And now again, we we'll repeat going in between those two. So go in, pull up. And this is it. This is all you have to do each row and you will receive this beautiful stitch. So in between, pull up. I will show you one more time how to change colors. Here you can already see how it looks like. Super easy. Okay, we are here at the end. And again, we will turn our work around. Here are our two. Grab the yarn, pull up. Now I let this one fall and I will grab my lighter color again and go through and pull through. Now pull the pink color a little bit and now again, grab the yarn, pull through two, pull through two until you have one loop left on your hook. And I will crochet a couple more rows and in just a moment I will show you how it looks like and how to finish off your project. So just repeat doing those two rows and I see you back in just a moment. I repeated the rows over and over again and this is how it looks like. This is how the front looks like and this is how the back looked like. And once you receive your desired height for your project, I will show you how to crochet your last row to finish off. So I'm here at my back row. I have one loop left on my hook. And now we will insert again in between those two stitches, grab your yarn and pull up. But instead of leaving those on our hook, we will just make a slip stitch. Again, into the next stitch, our knit stitch, pull up and make 
a slip stitch. And you will repeat this in every stitch until you get into your last stitch. So pull up and make a slip stitch in every stitch. Don't make it too tight, just a slip stitch all the way along. I am now in my last stitch and here we will go into the border stitch again. Grab a yarn, pull up, make a slip stitch, chain one, pull tight and now we can cut the yarn. And now all you have left is to sew in all those ends and I will do this and I will see you back in just a moment. I finished sewing in all my ends and we are done. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and to crochet this beautiful knit stitch with me. It's very, very easy. Of course, I would love to see your pictures. Write me a comment how you like this tutorial and you can find me on Instagram. There you can send me your pictures. I would love to see them. Have a beautiful day and I hope to see you back soon. Bye.